This night and this weekend is supposed to be clear. The summer targets are just around the corner and we have new equipment to test out. Tonight's target is to get back into astrophotography, finally, and to see if this guide scope is worth the price. So this is the Bonnie 50mm guide scope. And just to be clear right up front, this little guy was sent to me by Bonnie for review. I am not paid to convey any message, however I can keep this little guy after making this video, just FYI. This small and compact guide scope comes with everything you need, except for maybe a main scope and a guide camera. So let's go over the specs real quick to see what we got. Whenever I try to make a review, there are lots of things I could talk about with a big telescope for example, but this is just a guide scope. 50mm aperture f4. It comes with a typical finder scope bar in the bottom, which you can bound into the finder scope bracket or just as I did on the main scope for balance reasons. It has a helical focuser and a coarse focuser up to 3cm for basically any guide camera you have, 2 and a quarter inch adapter and two adjustment rings with which you can adjust the scope very easily. And yes, that's it, it's just a guide scope as I said, but the main purpose of a guide scope, in case you are new to this hobby, this scope in the bottom here has the main camera in the back that shoots the actual image. But this telescope on the top here is used for a process called auto guiding. This camera in the back here communicates with your mount carrying the entire thing. The camera sees a star through this small scope and the software tries to keep the star centered to correct false tracking of your mount to get longer exposures, up to 10 minutes maybe. And a 10 minute exposure is really something you should at least try once if you can. It's awesome. If you look at the scope more closely, yes, you see this design of guide scopes almost everywhere. Even if I would now get my 60mm guide scope from Omegon, it looks pretty much the same. Many of these scopes are pre-made and many manufacturers or retailers put their name on it and sell it. This 50mm scope with two retailers in Europe costs around 150 euros to 160 and SV Borny is selling these ones on eBay for 80 dollars. Don't know how they do it but half the price for the same scope. But is it the same scope? Let's see and try it out tonight. And maybe tomorrow night, because the weekend looks good. And the stuff that happened on night one was awful. I broke my own rule, if I want to try new equipment, don't shoot video. I did anyways. And I was so out of my routine that I forgot almost everything. I did everything in the completely wrong order. For example, I tried to start auto guiding and I didn't even have polar aligned yet. Yes. Many other things also went wrong. I used the laptop instead of the ASI Air for convenience reasons. And yeah, as soon as this happened, I was done with filming in the night. I got everything back sorted out. Yeah, and then I went to night 2. Cassiopeia. Our target is I think around somewhere around here. The 
pole master needs control over the mount, or at least I need to move the mount when doing the polar alignment. That's why I will connect the scope first. I need to actually turn on power. That would be a good idea. And the first thing you should do is enable camera cooling if you can, if you have a cool DSLR. Because it takes some time and can shift your focus if you do it too light. Connect mount. And the control panel shows up. I will need that. I will unpack. And now go to the Polemaster software. Power alignment quick run. And that's how you power align perfectly in under two minutes. Gotta love the Polemaster. And now I suppose it's finally dark enough. Do we have a live view? Hey look, there's a star. Well, not that many stars, but it's due to the L-Extreme filter in there. And now to the final question of this video, I guess. Is the SV Boney 50mm guide scope a good guide scope? And we will know as soon as I see good stars. And since I did this yesterday, I already know. Well, they're just out of focus. Hang on. But yeah, let's enable actually mount tracking. But take a look at this. We have beautiful stars in the frame. 4.4. Just a basic focus. Yes, this guide scope definitely works. And now on with the rest of the night. My final thoughts on the SV Boney guide scope. This thing definitely works. It is way cheaper than other guide scopes in the area. Any amateur and advanced astrophotographer can do great things with this. So if you're just starting to get into deep sky imaging and you need a guide scope, really consider this to save your hard earned money to get a better main scope for example. As I said in the beginning, the summer targets of astrophotography are just around the corner. Cygnus is rising very soon and I have a pretty big Richie Gretchen back there. And I also just ordered well, I ordered it yesterday, but it arrived today, an O3 filter. I might not have a mono camera, but it still works. If I say summer targets and O3 filter and big project during the summer, you might know what I'm up to. As for me, my name is Tim, I'm Astro Addict, I wish you clear skies, and may the night be with us.